Hello and welcome to today's Open Dental webinar. We're going to cover how to set up OD Touch today. We'll go over things like tablet requirements, how to create mobile credentials, the user settings required to access the app, the OD Touch security feature, e routing setup, and how to access the app itself. So to start out, let's talk about our tablet requirements. This was designed for Android and iOS tablets specifically. OD Touch can be downloaded on a mobile phone, but features are much more limited that way. Specific device requirements can be found on the web manual page listed in the description, so make sure to go over that before getting a device for this. Next, we'll talk about mobile credentials. These are also known as the sign up portal login to access the app. If you're utilizing the eClipboard or OD mobile app, they should already be set up for you. However, if you are not, navigate to eServices. You can access this in the sign up portal or here in the mobile settings window. All we need to do is set up a username and password for this. And you'll want to make sure to add some account recovery options. An email address is required. The phone number is optional. That way you have some way to reset the password in case you forget it. Once you enter your email for authentication, you will receive a code. Or if you're utilizing a phone number, you'll get an SMS with a verification code. You'll just need to enter that in order to proceed. Now you've created your mobile credentials, we can move on to the user settings. In addition to signing in to the database with the sign up portal login, you'll need to sign in with specific users in the office. You can go up to setup and security to set these up. There are some requirements in order to access the app. The first one being found in global security settings, the passwords must be strong option. This has to be turned on to access any of our mobile apps. This allows for the password to have a uppercase letter, lowercase letter, and a number in the password itself in order to consider it a strong password. There is also a column in the user section to notify whether this is a strong password or not. If the user does not have a strong password, they will need to create one or reset their password. So we'll go ahead and set a password for one of our users. Once we save that, you'll notice that there is a now a strong password checkbox in this column. The next thing we'll want to look at is the user group permissions. Whatever user group your users are associated to will need the OD Touch permission. You can scroll all the way down to the bottom here and check the box for our web applications for OD Touch. This will also give them access to OD Mobile. Now we've got our user set up, so we can talk about some of our optional features in the app. The first one being found back in our eServices setup, the OD Touch security feature. This is also known as clinical security. This is once again an optional feature that will increase security within the app. The user must revalidate their PIN or if they're using a specific device that allows for fingerprint or face ID every X minutes that we set this to while logged in. So if we set this to 60 minutes, every 60 minutes, they will need to revalidate their PIN or again, fingerprint or face ID just to verify that they are still the same person who is logged in. This does not remove the need to type the password when they log in the first time or if they close and reopen the app. It simply adds an extra layer of security while they're within the app. Turning this feature on immediately prompts a user to create a PIN after they sign in. Next, we're going to cover e-routing. This is an optional feature that allows for the office to set up a checklist of actions that users can use within the app for patients. This can be found in tools, e-routing, and then we can go to setup to start creating definitions. We'll go ahead and use the add button. From here, we can give it a title so we know what it is for. And then we can add our actions from this list. This simply makes it so that we can easily group our actions for specific appointments that we know we need to take care of for those particular appointments. We can reorder these if we want to, add as many actions as we need, and then we can also add some triggers. Our e-routing triggers will make it so that the definition is only available for specific patients that meet that trigger. General will mean that any patient can meet that trigger and this will be available for all patients. We've got the appointment trigger, which we can add with no appointment type, meaning that if a patient has an appointment today at all, 
this definition will show up, or we can add specific appointment types from our list so that it'll only show up if they have that specific appointment type on their appointment. We also have our billing type trigger, which we can add so that it will only show up if they are in this specific billing type. Once we're happy with our checklist of actions and any triggers we may need, we can go ahead and save the definition. From here, we will list all of our e-routing definitions. If we do have multiple and the patient meets multiple triggers, the user will have the option to choose which one they want to use for that particular day. Now we've covered most of the setup for OD Touch, so we can go ahead and talk about how to access the app itself. First, you'll want to install the application found in the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. Once we've installed the application, we can start signing in. The first screen you'll find is the Sign Up Portal Login. That will use the mobile settings we created in the beginning. And the password created at that time. Once we've signed in for the first time, you will reach a screen that says validation failed. This is because we need to enable the device before we can start using it in the office. We can navigate to our eServices setup window and then manage devices. You'll notice the device show up in this list and you'll see an OD Touch column that we can click into to enable the device. Once we do so and save our options, we can hit the try again button or wait for the app to refresh to take, be taken to the Open Dental User Login screen. From here, we can select the user we want to log in with. This will allow us to select from a list of users, or if you prefer, you can use the manually enter logon credentials preference to type the username instead. We can select our user and type in their password. Since this is the first time this user is logging in, they are going to be prompted to create a PIN because we have the OD Touch security feature turned on. They'll just need to re-enter their password and create a five-digit PIN. And then they're taken to the login screen of the app. Now we have OD Touch all set up and we're ready to start using it. Thank you for joining us for today's webinar. If you have additional questions, please call our support line at 503-363-5432 or access our complete online manual at opendental.com. And to make sure you're staying up to date on our latest training videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications.